Oh, guys, I, I wouldn't recommend buying this 4Runner. It looks like the blinker doesn't work. Huh? See this dirt road that goes right across this main road? I live like right here, and these guys, when you struck them, as you can see in this hat, they're just going across the road like every couple minutes. Just dirt everywhere. It's like the entire road is dirt. Okay, and like. The <laughs> oh my god. There's so much dirt on the road down here. I literally have not enough traction. All that dirt gets on the road, and I don't even have enough traction. Every, I mean, if I hit the gas hard enough, my tire starts spinning out. Just from the dry dirt on the road, like, it flattens everything out, so he drags that thing across the road, too. In the traffic all the time, whatever. I mean, I'm glad they're making new roads out here, but good grief. Don't get the dirt under the road. Or the dirt that's supposed to be under the road, on the road. It's kind of dangerous for people who have one wheel. I don't know if you saw it back there, but I kind of... I popped the wheel up when it regained traction. Oh, who's this? Not gonna wave at me? What the heck, bro? You want a ZX-14? Wave at me. these kids. <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and try and make my first official moto vlog because I got it on my computer and I got all the video for my first moto vlog, which was actually really great. I'll tell you about what happened in a second. Um, but I got it on my computer and uh, my, it, it was just all gone. So uh, I don't know. There went my first moto vlog. Dead. Um, so. So I'm gonna make this my first official moto vlog, although I'll probably put out a video or two before this. Come out and uh, at least 
tell you what was on that uh, first motor vlog because I see a lot of uh, people doing uh, videos, not necessarily motor vlogs, but just videos of uh, like nice cops or, uh, or bad cops. But um, all the videos of like, oh, nicest cop ever that I see is always someone getting pulled over and then the cop just not giving them a ticket. It's like, yeah, you're really cool if you do that. Yes, I will give you that. But, I mean, there are obviously multiple cops who do that. What makes that the nicest cop ever? <laughs> Not to say that if I knew them, I wouldn't say that, but I don't know. It's kind of, I feel like it's kind of quirky. Uh, that being said, I feel like this story I had was like really the nicest cop ever, or coolest cop ever, whatever it is. Anyway, he was really cool. Uh, I was on the side of the road taking a picture of my bike. And uh, I was kind of speeding a little bit right before this. Um, so I was taking, on the side of the road taking a picture of my bike. And as I'm pulling out of like this little nook in the road that I was in, he pulls up right next to me and uh, stops and like motions for me to come across the road. Uh, which is where he was, so he pulled off, and I followed him because I'm not going to, you know, cause any trouble for myself if I don't need to, which I didn't need to, uh, so it was good. So I pulled over, and uh, he was like, oh, everything all right, man? I was like, yeah, everything's fine. I thought he was going to, like, uh, people People around there are just absolute jerks when it comes to uh, calling the cops for just incredibly dumb reasons, like, if you get foot hurt that easily, get off the road, especially in Kansas City, um, so he just asked me if I was okay, and I was like, yeah, I was just taking pictures of the bike, and he's like, alright, cool, so he starts getting back in his car, and then he was like, hey man, what, what kind of bike is that, and so I was like, oh, it's a 2007 R6, I started telling him about it, um, so we had this, uh, big conversation, and I told him like all the mods I'd done on my bike and he told me that he was, uh, he used to have a sport bike, like a TBR or something. And uh, he was looking at getting another one. Uh, and so I, he, he kind of had some questions because I mean, I know a lot about bikes uh, considering I built this one. And uh, he, I don't know, he was really cool. We just had a really cool conversation. And then he was like, hey, uh, if you go to this road, I'm not gonna name it, um, you know, it's like, just 10 minutes away from where we were not even that but he was like if you go to this road it's uh pretty fun really twisty and uh it's pretty safe and there's never any cops up there i was like ha, sweet this cop didn't give me a ticket didn't say anything uh i don't i doubt he got a report but usually people around here will call you in if they even hear your motorcycle he was super cool and he didn't bring anything up. I didn't get a ticket, although he didn't catch me doing anything. And he told me what road to go to to have some fun on where there aren't any cops. And I thought that was pretty cool. And so it was fun. That was my video where all my, uh, where it all got uh, deleted into cyberspace somewhere. I don't know. It's gone. Hey, if you guys want to buy this car, it's for sale. I love how there's two lanes and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green lights on this road. <laughs> it just shows you how many lights people actually need to see whether they're able to go or not. Wow. And if you're on front street, you need to close your visor so there's a lot of gravel on it and it will get you